All right, hey there, guys, and welcome back. Got a moonlight deck for you guys today. What changed my mind on making a moonlight deck is actually I went to make um a Siri Nova Monsters deck, and I was gonna put in the moonlight package, which I'm still working on that one. Probably do that one next, but then I came. I was gonna run uh, Foglets in it, and I was gonna run Bridge Troll. I was thinking about running Bridge Troll because it counts as reapplying it. So when you move the fog, then another Foglet comes out. Well. I ended up realizing, wait a minute, Bridge Troll, if it counts as reapplying it, if I have Blood Moon on their side and I move the Blood Moon to another roll, then does that count and reapply it make it do two damage to everything again? Turns out it does. So, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely making a Moonlight deck, or Blood Moon deck, and I'm going to try this out. So this is what I came up with so far. I haven't played it yet. We got three Moonlights, choose one, apply a Full Moon Boon, or apply a Blood Moon Hazard. Um... Yeah, they go with Sirens who play a Moonlight from your deck. But this basically just uses it for the Blood Moon Hazard. You don't want to spam all three on the field at once for sure, because if they just clear skies that you're going to be very sad. Um, and you want some for other rounds. I'm thinking one playing one per round should be just fine. As long as they don't clear it, then I can play another one, sure. But if I play one, I have things like Drowner and Bridge Troll to reapply it and move them, and Drowner to move them into the Blood Moon, and Jotun... To move them into the Blood Moon, doing extra damage. Then we got Foglet. Whenever you apply Fog to an enemy row, summon a copy of this unit from your deck. Oh, well, we got Woodland Spirit and we got Dagon. Just because Dagon, I was like, none of these leaders, like, if I run Unseen Alder, I'm going to be doing damage. So I don't want to run Unseen Alder, really, I don't think. And then my other choice... Oh, yeah, I can't show you when I'm in casual match thing. But my other choices were like, um... Uridin, which I'm not running Wild Hunt, so why would I run Uridin? And Iraq is Bahamut, I'm not running Consume Crap, so no point in that either. All the monster leaders are, like, very niche. So I figured Dagon would be the best, since it's another weather, and it, I can then just instantly filter out the Foglet. And we got two Werecats. I took out a Werecat for a Foglet, deal 5 damage to an enemy, then deal 1 damage to all enemies under Blood Moon. This makes it so it's not 100% reliant on the Blood Moon, like... With the Foglet, I can also use the Drowners and the Bridge Troll with the Fog, too. Just in case they're destroying my Blood Moon or I get really unlucky and don't get a Blood Moon. But if the Blood Moon is out, Werecat, I think, yeah, will net you a lot of value. Unless you're facing an Armor deck. Because, I mean, you deal 5 damage and 1 damage to everything else in the Blood Moon. And Drowner, you got Drowner and Jotun to move more units in the Blood Moon. Should be really good. Then we got Drowner, move an enemy on the opposite row. Deal 2 damage to it. If that row is under hazard, deal 4 damage instead. Oh, well, this card is going to be insane with Blood Moon because it's going to be a 13 power bronze. Because you're going to do the 4 damage for moving them into a hazard, and then the Blood Moon's going to do 2 more damage for on contact with Blood Moon. So that's really good. And then we got Bridge Trolls for moving an enemy uh, hazard on an enemy row to a different row. Now, if I manage to line everything up with Drowners and Jotuns, and I have a Bridge Troll, I could move the blood moon to another row play siren and activate another blood moon and then do two damage to everything on that row again or move it to another row then move it back that is options i'm just saying <laughs> but i think it'll be better because when they start not stacking on the blood moon row then i can move it to another row and hurt them and then we got monster's nest spawn of bronze necrophage or insectoid unit boosted by three uh you can do the barbagazi for carryover the ancient foglet for yeah, if you have a fog out or the ghoul for them, because we got the Imperial Manticore Toad Prince combo. If you could pull that off, then we got the Wispus tribute, tribute for playing a bronze or silver organic card from your deck, which will let you filter out that neck monster's nest, which will be a pretty big tempo play. I mean, if you have ghoul and you eat Imperial Manticore and you played Wispus tribute to filter out this monster's nest, that'll be crazy. Um, not sure why Foglet is even in this anymore, besides the fact that it's just a necrophage. Because you can't bring him back from the graveyard anymore, so why Why would you ever pick Foglet? But yeah, those are choices. Those are your choices. Got some decent ones in this deck. Then we got a Baya for clear weather and for the rack as Venom. Um, she's a 16 power silver. Not too bad if you play the rack as Venom. And she's a lifesaver if you clear out a crap ton of weather. Then we got Nierkarat. Spawn Moonlight. This gives you a fourth Moonlight. Pretty good. Uh, yeah. Of course, you're going in a Moonlight deck. 
Then we got Jotun. Move three enemies to the row, then deal two damage to them. If that row is under frost, deal three damage instead. Um, you're basically going to be doing four damage to everything they move if you move into Blood Moon. So, he's going to be an 18 power silver. Pretty good. Line everything up under that Blood Moon for our Werecats. Then we got Toe Prince and Imperial Manticore, of course. To eat the Imperial Manticore, make Toe Prince big. Uh, you could also eat a Bridge Troll if you don't need him. I mean, if you don't get the Imperial Manticore. Then we got Royal Decree to play a gold unit from your deck and boost it by two. Our golds are Caretaker. Stealing unit from the opponent's graveyard, always good. Woodland Spirit, another fog, some more weather harass. Should be alright. And then Wispus Tribute to play bronze or silver organic card from your deck. Um, if you Royal Decree out Wispus Tribute, and you pull out Monster's Nest, and you grab the Ghoul, that's going to be 26, 28 power play with the Royal Decree into Wispus into... Monster's Nest, it's also going to thin your deck by two, and yeah, that's going to be a pretty big tempo play if we pull that off, so that's always good. And we got Dagon, because I don't want, I'm not crafting the RNG leader, he's really crappy, guys. <laughs> and this guy fits all right in the deck and just lets me insta thin out that foglet. So, let's get into some games, and we'll go with the suit non series one first, because I'm really excited to try this out. All right, game one the love and Darrell. We got the RNG leader, huh? Well, at least it's not armor, because I don't want to face a bunch of armor decks. That'd be really sad. Well, we don't want Moonlights. Uh, we don't want this Monster's Nest. <laughs> don't want Foglet. There we go. This is what we got, guys. It's actually pretty good. I'd take it. I mean, we got all our gold, so Royal Decree is kind of like hell. Um... How are we going to deal with that? Should we just go with the Instant World and Spirit Fog? No, because then that's going to give them a crap ton of units. Hmm. Let's go with Dagon and just bring out Fog. Because, I mean, we're not going to be summoning two units every turn. This is probably going to be the only turn that we're going to be summoning two units, so we should be able to hurt that thing more than it's going to hurt us. Um... Well, this is kind of sad, because I need to get this Blood Moon rolling. And Drowners, they're all dead. All dead cards. And I'm not going to overrate that with Blood Moon. Um. Hmm. I... I guess we spawn a Blood Moon here. Start moving things into it. Then he clear skies us. Oh. Okay. But we don't have another Blood Moon right now. But we do have a fog. Oh. Things are not looking good now. Actually, we have a Drowner. I don't want to spawn that guy, sure. So we're just going to Drowner. This guy do four damage to him. None shall tread on us. Eh, he's going to move the discarding guy there. Okay, well, we got another Drowner. Kind of wish I had another. Is that organic? No. Darn it. Um. Should I use up all my drowners now? Yeah. Move him into there too. Right, fine. Okay, so there's all his elves. Now we have Baya. Oh, man, the thing pops before. That's so annoying. Okay. We buy a rack as Venom. <laughs> Start doing some more damage with that. Keeping up with his tempo, fine. We're ahead of him. But we went second. 
Let's enjoy the weather while we still can. Oh, mercenary? Recon? Man, that hawker support's really getting annoying, though. Okay, so he's hand boosting something. I would just go with the wooden spirit. Forget it. Take your take your bonus three or whatever you got from that. <laughs> I'm getting too fogged going. Ryan! All right. Now we drown her. This guy up here. Not doing too bad. Okay, good. He passed. Cause I was gonna say I'm gonna. I'm not crap to do. We're just gonna play the werecat. There. I only ended up one card down. Not too bad. Now we can caretake this other guy after we dry pass him. Get even on cards. They have final say. We didn't really get to blood moon crap because I only got one blood moon and he cleared it with his weather clear unit. Who runs weather clear units? No, I need the siren. Okay, there's Toad Prince. Give me. <clears throat> not, not him. I need the siren. I guess I can eat one with Toad Prince though. So that'll be good. Of course, we're gonna dry pass here. Let's get our card advantage back. Luckily, you didn't have the three power card that you mulligan and comes out. You were in a Scorch deck? That's another deck I'm trying to make, actually. There's so many more decks to make. I'm trying to think of making them uh, a five, five Scorch. Because you can make up to six Scorches. Yes! Nice! Should we just get greedy and try for the Manticore? No, nope, no Manticore. That's all right. I mean, it could have ended real bad, and I could have got, like, Monster's Nest. Could still get Monster's Nest off the Toad Prince draw. Well, it looks like he is running Scorch. So, what should I caretaker? Hawker support. I'm thinking Hawker Smuggler would be too easy for him to set up. For Scorch play. Of course, if I keep things ahead of it, it should be alright. He hasn't used any damaging cards yet. Does he run any of those? Maybe Ithalan double Zer's Thunder? Just go for that and make a 14. No, because I can eat that with this anyway. Alright, we're just going to go for his Hawker Smuggler. I think he's running a Siri Nova deck. Oh, Porticollis. I mean, that's not the worst, because... <laughs> oh. Yeah, I see what you're doing. Okay, Toe Prince. Oh, we drew into another bridge troll, so yeah, we're going to eat one of these bridge trolls. It's trying to scorchify us. Oh, he's running a shoot deck. He's going for the four power one. He's trying to get the weather. Oh no, he just got the card draw. Well. We'll go for this first. Wisp is tribute. Into monster's nest. Into... Where is he? Cool. And we'll eat... Our nine power card. Alright. Now here goes his RNG card. He has like double final say. Double or triple? We were gonna have final say then. He just said no to that. 
we're pretty far ahead, but I mean, with double final say, some crazy stuff could happen. He could double scorch us or something and shut down our plans. What did he just RNG out on the lowest unit? Into. Okay. That sucks for you, buddy. Um. Yeah, we'll just spawn a moonlight here. Or a blood moon. I guess we'll fi kill off that 5 power with a wire cat. Do 2 damage and then move it with bridge troll. To another row. Probably that back row. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna do 5 damage to this. Okay. We're looking pretty good, guys. Like, 53 points ahead. And we got, uh, really not that high of a power play left. <laughs> Maybe our hawker support will pull us through. Of course, he's getting 30 points if they line up to 15 and he gets his burn up brawn. Did he just almost curse a burn up brawn? You. You. That's not cool. What are you doing running that card? Card's not viable. Go to the back row. All right. Okay, that was an ambush card, so we didn't count as playing a unit. Awesome. Who am I to kill? Yes, I knew you had the scorch. Ha! Pretty sure we got him. Yes! Woo! I guess we beat a Shroob deck. Woo! But things could have gone better anyway. We could have got more Moonlights and stuff and not all those Drowners. That was kind of really crappy round one. Let's get into the next one. Hope we don't face an armor deck next. Alright, game two. Voorhees. Reveal. Reveal deck. Might do okay with against the Reveal deck. Uh, we don't want Blood Moons. Don't want this guy. We want, we really want Toad Prince right now. That'd be a really cool game. Could you give me Toad Prince? If I throw back a Werecat, maybe. Round one's probably going to be the best thing for Werecat, so I guess I'll do a Drowner. Yeah. No Google. We start. Caretaker and Aug. This deck might not be so good for a round one. Well, I'm just going to summon a fog, I guess. A random row. Hope he plays things into it. Because I can't play Frost anymore with the gun for some reason. <laughs> there, take that. Fog. Uh, we're just going to drown her that thing into it. He's going to get like one use out of it. Because that thing's annoying. And he's about to get a crap ton of value out of it with four. He's That's all he needed it for. Because that's eight. I will honestly turn that fog into a blood moon if those freaking things land there. Ugh. One more could have landed there. That would have been nice. Well. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with Blood Moon. On the middle row. One point behind. So he could pass us here. Let's go two cards down. I'm by me. Cause now I get to play you out in an extended round. Um, bridge troll. Should I reveal to him my big secret? No, you're not gonna let him know that moving blood moon reactivates his effect. Hopefully, he doesn't know. Cause <laughs> I don't want to give him that info if I don't have to.
Blood Moon, Drowner. Drowner's good. Could get Jotun though. Jotun. Woodland Spirit. Alright. Who do you go for the really long round? What do I get this Imperial Manticore into my graveyard? Uh, we'll go into last round, one card down. Go for a really long round. I actually held on to that. Just that way I don't have to go first. Because I don't want to go first. I want to respond to what you play with my weather, not... What you've been making me do. Oh, Moonlight, go back. Give me Toad Prince. God damn it. Alright, well, let's set up our protection field. And start her in that thing. I will wear cat that. Drowner will probably be what I get with my one card now. Alright, let's start making them stack on that top row. Blood Moon. Go. We have one more Blood Moon for if he has Weather Clear. Which hopefully he doesn't. Because that would be wonderful. Ah! We got some damage too. Um... I'm wasting off a lot of damage Drowner, and I don't think it'll save me from much damage if I use it on that, so. Um, we are going to get rid of this Manticore, though, because I just realized he's might use his reveal unit to hurt that thing. I don't work for free. Leo. Oh my god, he, if he has a reveal unit anyway, that's going to suck. Well, at least that thing's gone, so we're going to move this to the middle row. Caretaker, is there any good caretaker option? No! Horrible caretaker options. Do five damage. Nah, I should hold on to that. And we'll just use Wispus Tribute. Get out the monster's nest. A, oh, my Imperial Manticore's in there. Ghoul. Yeah. I need the 13 power. Okay. That worked out all right. He has no right running Scorch, so I'm not expecting him to hit me with a Scorch. I am expecting that, though. So. Here we will. Do I have to move? Yeah, I have to move, I think, first. I don't know, I should find that out, but it might actually lose me the game if I do 5 damage to this, 1 damage to those. Because if I have all hazards and I move the hazard to another row to reapply that Blood Moon effect. No one can hide from me. Curious. Curiouser and curiouser. Um... I wish I had a way to kill that 8 power. Let's go with a Baya. And we'll rack his Venom in this row. Hmm. 
Hmm. I do have a way to kill it, actually, but it's going to take me two cards. And I'm going to have to hope that this thing actually works the way I think it does. You wouldn't want to hurt us, would you? A little blood moon this row. Then we'll move that blood moon. Oh! What? What? <laughs> you had double final say? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Why did you forfeit? I couldn't even find out if moving that into another Blood Moon Row Hazard would override it or just like swap them or just like cancel it out and not let me move it. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it lets me move it, overrides the one that's there, and then reapplies it. Alright, well that's game two. That guy forfeit. He gave up. He's like, all my rows are covered in weather. You know, he had double final say and an 11 power card in his hand. Okay. Well, we'll get in the last one now. Alright, game three, Amir. Is this spies? Play everything on my side. Oh. Look, like, I don't run that many cards. I want to see my starting hand. Why? Why are you in my starting hand? Toad Prince. Yes! We got it for once. And now we have a starting play. Um. Is it worth it? Yeah. Please don't fog let me. Oh my. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's cool too. Like that was like all I was hoping for. Just don't give me a fog let and I'll be really happy with this. Oh look. Well, this guy's getting reported. Oh, these bugs are so fun. Okay. Well, video clipped that, and I'm reporting him. Alright, game three, Hensel. Guy's still a scrub, but I mean, at least he did it right away and didn't waste my time. Because honestly, I'm not playing with that crap. Why else would you play a freaking... Wow, whatever. Why do people cheat? Blows my mind. At least, he, needs, he didn't even know how to do the one to steal a card from my hand. We had a decent hand. We, we have a better hand this time, actually. I'm happy. Um, We just don't need Monster's Nest right now. And we don't go first this time. Holy crap, awesome. Like, really, I am reporting the crap out of that guy. Screw that guy. Hey, hey. I hate cheaters. We're getting this fog let out of my deck, though, so that way that doesn't happen again. Because <laughs> that would have sucked. Hope that guy enjoys his two free wins. Is that, like, seriously a one damage machine? What is this? Alright, let's... Toad Prince. Hey, near crap. Leave my 13 power manticore. Um, Igni doesn't save him. Just making sure that he can't pull off some spy crap. Like, Igni, and then, oh. Does Igni save him now? Igni doesn't, s does it? Wait. Crap. 24? They put him at 49. Yeah. Yeah. I've not played against that combo in so long that I was not expecting that. Winch into Siege Tower. Okay. Oh, we're facing a Hensel, Shawnee, Siege Tower. But at least he doesn't have final say. And I don't think he has a way to get final say. But that siege tower combo he's about to hit us with is going to hurt in the final round for sure. 
Might be able to out damage him though. Yeah, Blood Moon, Blood Moon. What is this? This card loves me. A Royal Decree, that might save us. A Royal Decree into Wispus Tribute into Monster's Nest? Hell yeah. He dry passes me. What do I drop? I'm not gonna dry pass me. If he doesn't get a reinforced trebuchet, yes. You wanna know what we're gonna do? We're gonna be a jerk. No reinforced trebuchet for you or Siege Tower. There. Now you can't shiny it. Now you need another one. Ha! <laughs> Go ahead and ballista me. We're gonna fog you. Sounds a bit sexual. There's the pass. All right. So, what do we use up? A blood moon? We got two more blood moons. And I really don't want to draw like another blood moon with my mulligan because I'm sick drawing into these. I guess, yeah, we'll just play blood moon on this row. I'm going to take the round with that. Alright, end up one card up. He has one reinforce. He has the three siege towers. He cannot do the four siege tower combo. Oh my god, I still draw into the scrap. Get out of here. Go. Okay. The game's rigged, you guys. That's all there is to it. Fully... 100% rigged. <sighs> yeah, Monster's Nest. Into Ghoul. For the 20 power point play. To Imperial Manticore. We got two Blood Moons and we can move one around. And we got Jotun Drowner. I think we're pretty set. Even though we only have like an 8 power Royal Decree now. Because the game wants to give me Blood Moon on every single... My first mulligan was two Blood Moons. On round 2 I draw into... Round 3 I draw into a Blood Moon into the Monster's Nest. I run what? 5 cards I don't want to see in my hand? That's not much. No reinforced... Yes! Ha 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 ha! No reinforced Siege Tower for you. Today is a bad day for that. Just in case he makes us draw cards, actually, we're gonna siren. Out the blood moon. Because I bet you I'd draw into a blood moon. <laughs> He's gonna draw into weeds anyway, so he, his card's just dead. All right, now we drown her. Add to that row. You want peace? Then you're gonna hensel those out. Okay, all onto the middle row. Do it. Ah, right, so we're taking a bit of harass here. We're gonna Jotun them all to the back row. And then we're gonna wear Cat 1. And move the weather twice, I guess. Eh. Yeah. Because we can't keep up with that harass. No, we should wear Cat this one. There we go. And we'll move the moonlight up to the front row. Spawn a moonlight on that row. Move it again with this. Might not be enough. Because he's got the harass on lock. Alright, let's move that up to the top row. We 
Then we spawn a moon lay in the back row. We might still win. Might. I kind of really need my royal decree. Would have liked my royal decree to not screw me though. Alright, so now we spawn Blood Moon on that back row. Then we move it to the back row and kill off those things and we lose. We lose. What is he summoning circling? What did I I did play in your karat? Three, four, ugh. That still hurts. Alright, let's find out though. We're gonna move this over there. Mmm, Commander's Horn. I don't think even if Rural Decree wasn't totally dead play. Nope. Huh? Yeah. No. I wouldn't need a 21 points on another card. Yeah, we harassed him as much as we could. He still got to pull out the other machines, though. Those eight power ones, not too bad. Well, I'll take it. That's not working out too bad. I think maybe the Serenova Nova one might end up being better. Just because there's too much weather. There's too much weather. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't cover the field of weather and move it all around like that. Ah, oh, like I wanted to. Well, deck's still pretty fun, so we're gonna... Do the Serenova one next and definitely report that cheater. So I see you guys in the next one. Till then, have a good one.